Hey guys, a uh, beautiful day here in northern Georgia, here on February the 8th. Uh, I tell you what, couldn't ask for a beautiful day, more beautiful day rather. Uh, anyway, uh, as we all know, sometimes in life it comes a time when uh, we have to do things we don't necessarily want to have to do. But uh, if you guys will recall some plants here that I had on the back row, uh, in the hydroponic system, uh, kind of been struggling with them all along the winter, and, uh, and not not the plant's fault. Um, you know, just a couple of these things just simply uh, are not meant to be grown in a greenhouse. Uh, simply just pollination reasons, and you know, for whatever reasons, temperature wise, uh, you know, because as, as time goes on in the winter time progresses, I mean, you know, it, uh, it it gets hard to keep this greenhouse warm, especially when you get many cloudy days in a row. Uh, so uh, anyway, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to give you all a little tour of uh, what I've got left in the greenhouse and everything, let you know how things are going, and um, and then we're going to we're going to explore the root system on these plants that I'm about to take out and uh, see just what we have, especially that uh, that broccoli kale tree that I was calling it. Um, I'm really curious. Uh, so yo, you guys are going to get a first look as well as me. So uh, you know we're going to we're going to take these outside and. Uh, and take a look at what they look like inside the bucket and uh, go from there. So uh, let's get going. Okay guys, uh, we'll start off here with these uh, minimal cracky beds I got going right here. As you can see that bed there is empty. I've already harvested everything out of that and uh, really enjoyed it. I've got some more seeds started. I'm going to try to get one more grow uh, before it starts getting too hot in here. Uh, here's our uh, head lettuce that uh, you saw in one of the last videos there where I just had the starts and I hadn't quite got them planted yet. Uh, I know it's been a, been a little while since I've done an update video, but uh, anyway, we're bringing it to you now live. <laughs> um, and there's the cabbage plants doing real good, guys. You know, I, uh, I, I like that so much that I decided to go ahead and do it again. And it's like, like I told you, I was going to dedicate these two beds. Uh, very few plants in them, but they get big. So that's what we're going to do this time around, see how it goes. Okay, and we'll take a look at the uh, tomato plants. Uh, still keeping on, keeping on, y'all. Uh, not near as productive as they were. Of course, that's to be expected. I mean, I go through this every winter. Uh, you start getting bloom drop off. Uh, but as you can see, they're still still producing. Uh, gonna be a little lull in them. It won't be quite as many, but uh, these right here will get me by until uh, I get the ones going outside. I mean, provided the white flies don't try to take over. But, uh, Still doing pretty good. Uh, that was our little bandaged one there that we repaired. If you remember a couple of videos back, I broke this one. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, she healed up and is doing just fine. Got blooms all the way up right there. Uh, and I've been having to sucker these things like crazy, guys. Uh, the uh, Kapari experiment has been, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's slowed down drastically too. But uh, anyway, like I say, yeah, you can't argue with the. Uh, I mean, this thing, these things have been going for months now and uh, doing really good. And uh, I'll take a look at this puppy right here. Uh, this is one of my better boys, uh, the one I did not break. As you see, there is not a single tomato on that vine. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you, I'll show you what I did with them. I had one little green cluster on here, and this is what I did with them. And uh, as you can see right there, guys, I've been uh, cutting some suckers off of these tomato plants right there, and I got them uh, in some uh, rooting cubes inside of some four-inch pots. Or, and I'll try to get them ready for, uh, get them all rooted and ready to go outside here shortly. i uh, take a quick look at the cracky strawberries. Uh, guys, these things are really doing good. I, I changed out the nutrient mix on them about a week ago. Uh, because they don't they don't drink up a whole bunch and they it just gets weaker as time goes on so uh, anyway I changed it out and they're loving it and uh, with that one last look at the cell over here guys is this uh this reservoir tank and system has been off for about two weeks now and uh, I think I'm understanding what's going on in the uh, Dutch bucket celery uh, for some for whatever reason I believe it, the the uh, the cell the perlite is getting very very wet as you can see down there at the bottom uh, the celery's trying to rot at the bottom, and yet, they, like I say, this thing's been off for uh, a couple weeks now, and this, this celery's still alive. <laughs> so, 
uh, that tells me something right there. The, uh, it does not like to be submerged and uh, you know and kept wet all the time. So uh, that, well, I'll keep that in mind from here on out. Uh, other one, like I say, still, same difference, still alive, still growing. Um, and uh, this stuff here, I know that for a lot of y'all, this is gonna be a sad sight to see as beautiful as this stuff was. But, you know, like I say, we have to do what we have to do. And uh, so y'all just stand by a minute and I'm gonna get these things outside and we're gonna take a look at the root system on them. Okay, guys. I guess we'll start with this uh, mouse melon here first. Poor thing. Uh, you ain't gotta worry though. We're gonna, we're gonna definitely do this outside. Lord willing, creeks don't rise uh, in the summertime. But it just did not want to do it in the greenhouse for whatever reason. So uh, I'm just gonna try to just dump this ever so carefully here. Move my bucket out of the way. Pull off my paint strainer. Lay it aside. See, we got some got some roots here inside the bag itself. Uh, don't know what to expect too much right here, but that root really, really did it pretty good right there, as you guys can see. Yes, sir. Uh, look at some of them. <laughs> I mean, them. Is, Lord. Uh, now that I wasn't expecting. It's almost like a uh, like a daggone bulb or something other. Now that's interesting. I'm, I'm sure Rob Bob knows about this. <laughs> After all, he's the one who gave me the seeds. Don't worry, Rob. We're gonna put these outside, buddy. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the uh, Ujamal Pet eggplant. See what we got here. <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. Some roots in the paint strainer, not bad. Bucket's nice and clean. Uh, wow, guys, look at this. <laughs> That is really, that is really nice right there. Just perfect roots. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's a huge amount of that eggplant. My guy, this is the one I've been wanting to see right here. <laughs> uh, this is my uh, broccoli leaf kale tree. <laughs> Oh, me. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Not many roots in the paint strainer. Just nice and just a nice bucket full, guys. I was telling you, I was thinking it was gonna. I was, I was concerned about it breaking my bucket, uh, which I guess if I, if I had to let it keep going, it probably would have. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna pull this big, this one big celery plant. And this guy, this thing's heavy. This is what I was talking about in the greenhouse. Uh, that's uh, that's taught me something right there, um, and you too as well. Now, I'm going to eat this celery, so don't never don't fret. But I want to see what the roots look like on it. And I tell you guys, these, these buckets being as clean as they are is just you just you just don't know how nice that is. No algae. And then, you know, you just take a look in there. Good guys, this, this system is just uh, something you, anybody needs to do. But that's, uh, that's pretty impressive for celery. I mean, <laughs> that really is.
But anyway, <laughs> uh, I guess that's going to about wrap it up, guys. I just uh, wanted to share that with you. And, uh, you know, like I say, sometimes we have to do things we don't want to do. But, uh, hey, that's just that's how it goes in the gardening business and in the gardening world, uh, you know, or anything in life for that matter. Uh, anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys coming along with me. And uh, y'all take care, and God bless you. We'll see you next time.